Dear Harstum, I think we can both agree that Zerk is completely broken race, in the sense that it can always make a kill move by making a big amount of the same units that are difficult to deal with until you can get your own answer, like Ghost for Hive. It's also a race that arguably has too good recovery abilities, as it is difficult to always know whether Zerk makes mass drones or some units too. It is in my opinion always a gamble for Terran. Most Terrans are either too afraid to go or too peaceful. While Clem is able to beat speed banelings on creep, most people just can't do that because it's too difficult to think at the same time for the strategy aspect. Wait, what? Most Terrans are either too afraid to go or too peaceful. While Clem is able to beat speed banelings on creep, most people just can't do that because it's difficult to think at the same time for the strategy aspect. This guy, well, he should be targeting down Bailings actually is thinking about the grand strategy. I hope he never gets into a fist fight. He'll be thinking about what he wants to cook in the evening. He's like, oh, I can't punch my opponent because I'm not quite sure if I want to eat spinach or beans tonight. Pros can do it automatically, but we amateur players don't have the time to get those reflexes. I feel like this game, I had arguably played a better game than a lot of people in Diamond. Maybe even Grandmasters. Until the loose of Banshees. Alright, we're gonna plant a flag here. Until the loose of the Banshees. He thinks he played a, a game better than a lot of people in Diamond. Maybe even Grandmasters. I think I expanded too slowly. Well, I had a fifth, but didn't move until a lot. Maybe it's a main reason that I lost, question mark. Anyway, good luck, Captain. You need a lot of creativity to tell me I didn't play higher than Diamond. And losing because Terran is the hardest race objectively and then he has an emoji that looks like this his name is napolitan diamond player 4000 mmr on eu let's just hop into the replay uh hamster let's just do that for once in our life all right what do we have here the map is oxide and that's actually really nice because i have a a game that i very often reference is the game Clem vs. Rainer on Oxide. I think it was one DreamHack Masters ago they played on this map and Clem spawned in the exact same p position as Napolitan and also played a Banshee opener. So if they played a similar opener we can actually nicely check the difference between Napolitan and between Clem in those games. Isn't that fantastic? The only difference here is that rather than playing against Rainer, Napolitan is playing against Nintendo. So it makes it a little bit easier, but he said until he loses the Banshees, he basically played like a Grandmaster. Well, at least that's what I got out of that sentence. We're gonna have a look. That means that for the first part where he didn't lose the Banshees yet, we will be very very rough on him and any mistake you know is going to get called out after that we can we can drop our level a little bit to diamond but until then we'll treat him like he's clam basically okay sends out a very quick sev scout that is unnecessary in tvz uh, scouting after barracks is completely fine it is safe it will get you all the information that you could ever need in time so you just wasted a little bit of money it's not a massive deal but if you're trying to to be a grandmaster then it is something that does matter <clears throat> the reaper starts immediately that's good orbital command starts immediately as well i can turn on the music Ooh. no i don't want that i lied uh, <laughs> we have a pool going down for the zerk and it's slowly but surely uh mining a, a little bit of gas here and then we'll, we'll take a look at his Reaper micro as well, of course. We all know that one of the main things that top Grandmasters do very well is microing. Um, and on top of that, while they're microing, they're also spending their money. This is usually at the lower level, it becomes more of a decision. It's whether you micro or whether you macro correctly. But at the high level, they manage to do both majority of the time. I have a feeling that we might just get one of these cases where neither is being done. But we'll see. All right, factory... Going down immediately. Wait, what? There's a Reaper. Okay, yeah. There's a Reaper factory. This all looks normal. Perfectly standard. No second gas yet. So the build order looks good. The control on the Reaper, honestly, is quite good as well. I like that. It's going to get a drone for free. This is good control. You know what? I don't think Clem actually got a drone against Rainer. So this, this actually has been pretty decent control. Um, you're not floating any money because this is the money that will go into your third base right now. Yep. Goes down perfectly on time as well. Your reactor is on time. This actually looks like a very tight opener. You've done a 
a very good job so far. Um, I want to say I'm proud of you, but uh, it doesn't mean much yet. Uh, well, in general, I'm not sure if that's your goal in life, me saying that I'm proud of you. Starport should go down ASAP as well. There's two ways you can do this. You can either go starport before Hellions. In that case, you also need a second gas right now. Oh, there we go. Gets it on low. This is a good start. Um, now, perhaps you could be doing a little bit more trying to get a tumor, but this is a map with a ramp. So just attacking the third base or ideally what you'd be doing is just patrolling this area. In that case, links can't go past. Because right now, these links managed to go past. Um... If he would have been a bit faster, the Zerg that is, might have been able to snipe like a Mew or something. So that could be a little bit painful. So far, you're actually doing a fantastic job at executing the build order. Um, it, it does look really clean. I'm, I'm going to have to admit, control on the Hellions is not bad either. Um, we're going to have to see a couple of extra cars. Nice. Very solid start. I'm happy with that. Go immediately into the gas as well. Where is that Reaper of yours? Oh. Well, while this was happening, the Reaper died. That is a pretty decently sized mistake because now it becomes very tricky for you to move out with these two Hellions. Bailing Nest going down on the other side, not sure why, as well as a uh, first Banshee on your side. So, so far I'm pretty happy with everything you have done. You start your cloak as well, perhaps a little passive with the Hellions, but uh, you're focusing a lot on the macro and you don't really have map control. So yeah, I, I, I don't mind it that much. I don't mind it that much. Here comes the move out though. Okay, I love to see it. Let's see what you're gonna. Ooh, double depots going down. I'd, I'd like to see what this uh, banshee is gonna do. Are you gonna send it across the map? This is perfect. This is perfect. This can. This can fly over here. Oh, you can also go like this. Yeah, this is better. Sorry. Yeah, this actually is perfect. You need to build one here. Get a tech lab on this barracks. I, I was thinking you could fly on the reactor, but that's not actually how it works. I made a mistake there. My bad. It's going to be going for a quick stim as well. Continuous, well, almost continuous worker production. The control on the Hellions perhaps isn't all that. This hasn't been spotted yet by the creep tumor. So far, I'm I'm not saying it is as clean as Clam, but it's pretty darn close. This guy's not playing a, a poor game whatsoever, Napolitan. Now, he hasn't really controlled his Hellions once, and no damage really has been done. We haven't seen a single rotation. The Banshee has been shown as well at this point. As now this uh, barracks is going to go over here. And you have uh, three barracks pumping Marines already. Going to swap this. Uh, what are we doing here? Oh, quick scan. Tries to jump for a, a creep tumor. Isn't quite going to work. So far, I'd actually say... It's pretty darn close to, well, not perfect, but it actually has a really good start. Barracks 2, I'm very impressed. I was going to make massive amounts of fun of you, but this is good. This really isn't bad, honestly. I, the only problem is, I guess, is that you've built a lot of units that are meant to harass, and you haven't really harassed yet, right? You've killed, well, nothing, a single worker, and that was with your Reaper. So I guess that's a bit of an issue. Now here come the Banshee. Let's see if that changes anything. Um, start control. Let's, get it. let's just let's just uh, get the the first person view here from you. Okay, so you're controlling the Banshee. You're killing workers, killing workers, killing workers. Oh, building a couple more uh, depot, two depots. You are slightly supply blocked here at 85. You're not building any Marines because you are supply blocked. Your Medivex can start because you're supply blocked. But you're getting some damage. This is not the cleanest micro either. You missed a couple of shots already. And yeah, the control is a little bit sloppy. You go from supply block, I think straight into another supply block here. Yeah, you were only building a single depot. So now 93 out of 93. Still only building three Marines. Um, you did do quite some damage though with these two Banshees. So that is nice. You should also be moving out at this point. I believe the timing that you want to hit is 648. With like 16 marines and 2 medivacs. You have 11 marines, no medivacs, and you're not on the other side of the map. Uh, your combat shield hasn't started yet. Your medivacs are still 15 seconds away. So you're already pretty late. Um, so yeah, you're just going to be... Like, you're floating... I don't think you've macroed once properly ever since you started controlling the banshees. And you're... Are you going to lose this? Hmm, I guess not. Oh. Never mind, you did lose it. Okay, so 709, you have 92 supply out of 125. Your 1-1 one, one is almost done, and you have 16 marines. 
For reference, let me actually quickly check what Clem has at a time like this. All right, I quickly watched the VOD and Clem had 121 supply. So that's about 30 supply more. And he already lost a bunch of units and he was doing a Hellbat push on the other side of the map. So the claim that you were as good as a Grandmaster, you might still be as good as a very low tier Grandmaster, but down 30 supply really is a lot at seven minutes and you were floating 800. Um, and, and, and maybe Clem lost something before as well. So, and your push was, well, it hasn't even left yet. I, I know this build because I play this myself. Usually at the latest, you're supposed to hit like, like 645 or so, something like that after double benchy six car. So you're gonna be hitting about a minute late, I guess. Well, more than a minute late. You're also gonna hit with slightly more, but I mean, your timing is off. You also forgot your combat shield for quite some time. However, you're still in a good spot. I still think your early game, I actually agree with you. I think your early game was better than a lot of diamonds. At least it was better than what your opponent did. You killed some workers, you're now up 10 workers, which if you're a Terran player, you should know how good this is. This I'm not the greatest fan of. Walking on creep unseached. We'll see what happens. You're up 30 supply and after this you're up 10 supply so yeah you lost about a 20 supply lead there in three seconds if you're up 11 workers you're getting faster upgrades than your opponent and you have tanks there's no reason to rush up creep you rush up creep if he just killed 45 workers and this is your final desperation push you were far ahead you could take it slow you could siege a tank here you could siege a tank here kill some creep pre-spread your marines all of that good jazz you could have even drop two of your medevacs here and left both of your tanks at home for defense lots of options here you went for the worst option and you lost a crap ton of units i still think that you're gonna be up no actually you're down in resources lost at this point as well which is impressive once again you just move forward with your splash units you're gonna lose you're not going to lose it, but I think you could have lost it. Very sloppy. Once again, just running on creep. Running on creep like there's no possibility of there being banings. Oh, oh, that was a good drag. That was a really nice control out of the Zerg, honestly. Um, I think you just managed to snipe a baning there, which is also good. It's not a bad game. You should really scan for this creep, though, buddy. You just... Why do you just keep moving forward? That can't be it. Because now the creep has, isn't really disappearing. It's really easy to deny creep spread, especially if your opponent isn't really actively spreading creep. You just kill the active tumors and you just keep going there again and again. Okay, you go for a liberator. There's no fort base yet, by the way, which worries me. Oh no, there is. You build it in the back. In that case, that doesn't worry me. It is a little bit late and usually you'd build it over here. It's safe there and can fly to your fort base location pretty easily. You have a second factory as w Yeah, second factory, drilling claws. And you're going into barracks six, seven, and eight. Okay, so so far you are someone that I can. Say, you stole this build order, like you copied it, and you copied it pretty well. All the ideas behind it so far have has been good. Like you actually have been doing a, a pretty decent job. I want to say um, you're getting all the correct buildings. You're getting them at almost the correct time. The problem just so far has been your move outs. You just actually move command on creep. And then are surprised that you get destroyed by Banelings. It's like, this is literally the only thing Zerg has against Terran, is Banelings on creep. If there's no creep, Banelings really suck. Here you go again. You just walk. Now you stim? This is like trying to stand into a landmine to attack it. But you also have perfectly long-range weapons to make sure that 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 landmine detonates from a distance now you rotate towards this side i don't mind that too much but you really need to kind of leapfrog forward with your with your splash whether that's your mines or your other things that's yeah, not the worst splits it's just you only had three mines here and one of them didn't burrow it's only two mines shot you're gonna get cleaned up by Ling Bane and a single swarm host. That's a classic. You haven't done a single drop yet on the far right side. Your opponent is moving in one big ball. You're moving in one big ball. Pretty decently sized army at home again. It feels like you're just sending in a big army, then you lose your entire army, and your medevac count keeps growing with that army. Oh, here comes a mine drop. A single mine drop? No. Oh, three mines. 
But why this one? This one wasn't allowed? What's wrong with him? Look at this. Yeah, drop him, Captain. He smells. All right. And then <laughs> everyone else but him gets picked? What is this? This is ridiculous. He actually is leaving me. Look at him. All his friends in the medevac. Poor guy. No, happens to the best. That's actually insane. I, ooh. What is this? I, does he have to range on the planetary? And he, no. Why would he build it here? He does know that, that command centers can fly because he built one over here earlier. Why wouldn't you... Okay, imagine you really want to use a command center for a wall. You can still build it over here initially. Like, this isn't even a full wall. Yeah, whatever. Let's continue. Sorry. I just... Some things here are happening and I have no clue what they are. Okay, here comes a drop. Oh, accidentally sped it up a little bit. Perhaps to the best. Oh, drop. Boom, boom. Ah, get some kills. Not the greatest amount of kills, but... Once again, just, just move commanding on creep. Not a single scan. Okay, here comes the scan. Burrow the mine. And then you can you can kind of move back. Or you can... Yeah, another... This was good. This is the first time you've almost done it correctly. The problem is there's so little mines with this. You just dropped all of your mines and now you don't have any splash. You also have 194 supply. Where's the rest of your army? <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. How... This is what, like... 18 marines, 5 mines, 3 marauders. This is like legit like 40 supply that's at home. That's like half of your army. Hey, you're gonna snipe this, that's good. I think you could just kill your opponent. Or imagine splitting both armies, just having a double drop here and then the main army going here. You're also lacking medevax actually. Even though you haven't lost any yet, we're 12 minutes in game right now. Well, have you? You lost one. Look at this fight! This is an almost Max Terran player, by the way. <laughs> what is this? And he's pushing him back. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we, we're 13 minutes in game. You've lost a single medevac. And right now you have six medevacs. Six. How is that even possible? If you ever lose any, it's going to take you 12 minutes to, to, to get back to six. Oh my god. Corruptors are out. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, no, the mines. Burrow the mines. Nice. Okay. This was really good. You burrow the mines all at the same time. <laughs> no. Use the mines. <laughs> Use the mines. No. They just run back to the mines. <laughs> Captain, we have backup in the south. All right, we'll be heading east. <laughs> like, who does this? It's actually unbelievable. He just lost 50 supply because he didn't want to walk up this ramp again. <laughs> Sir, we've heard that there's landmines in the south. All right, guys, we won't be going there no more. <laughs> Like, Widowmice don't have friendly fire. Like, Widowmice don't have friendly fire. This could have... Oh, my God. This would have been really big in the fight. That actually would have been... Now you don't have any medevacs left, right? Just marines and marauders. Fantastic. The medevac is like... Um, you know how you have the, the pyramid of, of needs. The, the pyramid of human needs. And on the bottom, it is like food shelter and water and things like that and then the second one is like security safety that type of stuff you also have this for terran okay you have the the pyramid of terran and on the bottom of the pyramid there is marines okay marines and uh, ma marines and mines is, is is on the bottom now just we put marines on the bottom and on the second level you have mines without mines again sir you're not gonna make it then on the third level there's going to be medevacs okay your first level is absolutely perfect. You got your food, you got your shelter. You have plenty of marines, but you're constantly lacking mines. And the worst part is you're not even really lacking mines. You have the mines, except you're not using them. And then the medevax, well, you also don't have the third level yet. And then the fourth level would be marauders, then you get ghosts and, and liberators. You seem to just stip, skip certain levels. 
Um, I can't remember. What it's, I think it's called Maslow's uh, Hierarchy of Health. Something like that. It's, uh, that's what it's called. You have that for Terran as well. TVZ. And you're still at the bottom of the pyramid, my friend. So far, you only have Marines out of all your base needs. And well, <laughs> you're securing this area real nice as well. Honestly... What actually is it? Okay, you're you're still up in in, in units lost. You're do, you're doing fine in that, which is a, a miracle. This shows how cost efficient Terran is. When people say Terran is cost efficient, um, and then Terrans go like, "Well, I don't think that's true." You can just take a look at this guy's fights. He's been fighting with half of his army on creep without mines, ninety percent of the time, and he's still up in units lost. Like the the Terran army, like basically controls itself when it comes to mines. Like, these are basically high Templar, they're hidden, and they auto-fire. And they don't require energy, they're too supply, and they're insanely cheap. It's like a, a high Templar on drugs. I, I can't make this type of propaganda, because most people that watch these videos are Protoss players. <laughs> if I say something like this, and most of the people watching me were Terran players, I <laughs> probably have, like, a couple of extra heart attacks around the world, you know? Ladies and gentlemen, we see another spike in deaths. Oh, they turned into a planetary. <laughs> it actually works. It works. The madman did it. All right, comes back. Look at that. Look at that complete lack of Metavax here. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Ultralisk are going to get... Uh, well, I'm not quite sure if they're going to get slaughtered or if they turn around that these Marines and Marauders are going to get slaughtered. There's not a single Metavax. This guy's real ballsy. These... That investor had a fungal, didn't he? I'm pretty sure that investor could have fungled. Ooh. 74 supply. Uh, energy. I don't think the Terran clicked that. I don't think he was, like, counting. Okay, in three seconds, he's gonna have 75. I'll snipe him before then. That is kind of ballsy. If your entire army has minus three HP. I'll give him that. That's cool. High testosterone move, Napolitan. I like it. No planetary here. You already used his resources on the planetary they wanted to build there. Makes sense. For Metavax being produced at the same time. Um, we have a couple of Ultralisk. So the army composition right now is Ultralisk, Corruptor, Single Investor, couple of links. Marine Marauder Mind is pretty okay against that as long as you... No way. <laughs> He's like, yeah, not my entire army is in the orange yet. I think we can do better than this. Maybe stim another time as you run away. Nyeo. Uh, it's an overdosing population, looks like. Look at that. Poor health. Where's the Metavax? All right, here we go. Couple of Metavax. Is this is gonna be another planetary? That would make my day. Nice. And another planetary. And another planetary. Okay, so he actually just blocks off choke points. I don't even mind this too much. He's playing against someone that's playing Messling Bane. We haven't seen a single... What did he say again? I need to go back. Where are you? Imbalance complaint for... Um, Clem is able to beat speed banelings on creep. Most people just can't do that because it's too difficult to think at the same time for the strategy aspect. What strategy aspect? You just you're following a plan and don't pretend like you're not. And your plan is your plan is to go marine marauder, five racks, double factory, fort base, eight racks, and then you add three star or two starports and a ghost academy. You go into Liberator Ghost. You do this every single game. The reason I know this is because um, your transitions are not like natural transitions in a way, you know? You just, I can see you just following the plan. So you're not thinking about the strategy. That was an excuse for your poor micro. Caught him. I've been watching a show lately, and when I say lately, I mean I watched it once. It's called How to Catch a Smuggler. And the cops in that show are relatively incompetent or just doing useless work. They should hire me because I just caught this guy out on a lie. Saying that he's thinking about strategy. He's not thinking about strategy at all. He just doesn't know how to micro. Oh! Are these traitors? It's like they see the battle starts happening and they <laughs> they load up in their in their medevac and they go away. This is the first time he wanted to drop. Okay, let's just have a look what happened here with the decision making. Okay, so he has these medevacs. Okay, so he has these medevacs. He sees them. 
Okay, he F2s them back initially. Then in his sensor tower and with this mine, he sees a massive army come this way and he makes a conscious decision. Okay, he just sees an ultra and 10 banelings jump on top of this. And his decision here is to send three medevacs filled with units to the far right side. As he's being fungled and being overrun by ultras, he spent effort on sending away three medevacs only for them, this is my theory, to be f would back. See, they turned around. I don't think, no. Did he actually pull them back manually? I, want, I can see that with the control groups. I want to have another look at this. I'm sorry, but this is the most interesting thing I've seen all day. I've had a bad day, I can tell you that much. Okay. He turns them around. When does he turn them around? No, he does it manually. He manually turned them around. Which is funny, because at this point, he's already lost the base. He has the planetary here and has a defensive setup. Yeah, now it would make sense to keep going. They went back and forth three times. Yeah, the ping pong medevax. You're going to be in a pretty bad spot now, by the way. He is in a pretty bad spot now. Um, I do like drop. Oh, once again, f 2 This is the problem, is that Terrans are too used to f 2 that even when they try to do it properly, they really can't. He's gonna get this base. Or maybe this extractor. Depends a little bit what he's going for. He's gonna get the base. Nice. That's really nice. This was a good drop. Your first drop you did, and it was... Well, except that it was a little bit slow at, uh, it, at getting there, it did do a lot of damage. That was a good drop. I'll give you that. Nice. Good job, buddy. Um, your follow-up here is going to be more ghost... I really think a couple of extra mines wouldn't hurt you. I feel like at lower level, just in general, not just lower level, at any level, mines are just really good. And having a couple around the map and having 10, 12 mines is almost always worth it, honestly. Okay, so here you see your opponent in the sensor tower. Do you respond to that? Not really. Does Liberator stay here? Maybe you want to defend that base. Okay, a couple of snipes. Good snipes. There's no... Sp there's no mines once again, so the moment the banelings burst through, your ghosts are actually in semi-trouble. EMP, 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 EMP? Well, no, no EMP. He could have EMP'd it. What?! What am I looking at? He accidentally used microbial rather than fungal. <laughs> I like this base trade move though. This is good. I like this move a lot. That's fantastic. Actually fantastic. Uh, you could have maybe picked up and dropped into the main base. But there's a lot of corruptors. So. Uh, well, went, went a little bit back. It's okay. This is This has not been... Great for you. Okay, the, the, the last couple of fights. What's the units lost, actually? You're still up in units lost. You just haven't been mining as much. That's painful. Single Mew. Could maybe repair this base and start mining here again. I mean, work account is still in a, in a place where it might be possible. You you what? You fly a, an orbital over here. Throw down a couple of mules. I like... Well... This is very focused around just this area. What if the Zerg, with its huge brain... Just kind of walks around. Well, that's not going to work. Holy crap. Imagine if you would have repaired it just a little bit. That would have been sick. Because actually, this army wasn't that strong. If he still had his base, if Napolitan still had his base, I think he would be winning. I also think if he had two extra mines in this fight, he also would be winning. Actually, maybe even right now, he's potentially still winning? He has six ghosts. It's not that bad, is it? Fly the orbital. Yeah, nice. Where are we going? Where are you going? Oh, okay, wants to let the tank out. This is great. This is efficiency. Look at this guy. The guy from the natural flies over here and the guy from the main to the right. So both of them have a longer flight. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. I love that. They can gather a little bit more energy before they land. That is the only reason I can get from that. It's more trouble as well, no? Well, whatever. These guys are never gonna leave, are they? I don't think they're ever gonna leave. 
you think he would realize that he could just make a medevac and get them out like that? I don't think so. I don't think that's actually going to happen. He could also just kill this building. It's not like he's still here at that reactor. He already replaced it. I don't think our Terran's ever going to realize. I don't actually think our Terran's ever going to realize that he can get these out. Actually, mid-game quiz. Will these tanks, before the end of the game, uh, get out of here? If you think the answer is yes, press 1. If you think the answer is no, press 2. Good luck. Okay, we'll come back to that uh, later. The mid-game quiz. We haven't done one of those in a while. I wonder if uh, Hamster still has the animation for that. Whatever the old tune I, I did was. I remember we did this before. <laughs> Tough luck people that thought they wouldn't come. All right, they're out. Gets a barracks wall, I do like that a lot. I think that's a, a completely fine call. I think that is a completely fine call. But he's selecting them. I, I'm so curious what he's doing. Okay, is he just looking at her? Is this what what high level strategizing looks like? Is this the reason why he can't micro banelings? Well, lots of strategizing there. He he can. I think he scanned this and then realized, well, I'm dead. All right. Um, let's just go over your thing one more time. I think we can both agree that Zerg is completely broken race. It can always make a kill move by making a big amount of the same units that are difficult to deal with until you can get your own answer, like Ghost for Hive. Okay. Um, let, let's, let's, just, let's just start at the start, okay? Let's... Let's start with your micro, because I think I'm immediately going to answer a question here. Zerg is very good at massing units of one type. I agree with that. They have links and bane links, and they're very good together. They can switch easily into high ultra counts, or they can switch easily into corruptors if you're building liberators. However, against link bane link, if you have marine mine and some marauders, you're just gonna trade really well majority of the time as long as you micro that correctly every single fight that you have had was a on creep b without sufficient mines and c relatively poorly split as well and like no pre-split so none of the conditions that you need to meet in order to have a decent fight against her was ever met and it's even difficult for me to to judge your micro in this case. If I would tell Clem that every fight against the Zerg would have to be on creep without mines and no pre-splits, he would also lose majority of the fights. Like, these are very simple steps that you can set up. So it's not even your micro, it's just the preparation before the fight. It sucked. I'm sorry. Then second, your multitasking, it was non-existent for 16, 17 minutes straight. You didn't go clear creep on any other side except the, the side you were attacking to. You, your unit movement in general just was off. Half of your army tended to be at home, doing nothing, just waiting, rather than splitting in two parts, or just having a massive push at one end. Hell, even just staying at home and then dropping an army would have been better most of the time because it comes as a surprise. Now basically what you were doing is you're constantly showing your opponent, hey, this is a tiny army and I'm over here, please come fight me. He would fight you, you'd fly back with the medifacts, you go with your next army. Obviously that's not gonna work. So on, on, on the side of, of unit movement, you get fairly mediocre stamp. Bum. Um, for the micro or the, the pre-fight setup, you get uh, God Awful. Bum. And finally, for the strategizing, fantastic. I've never seen something like this in my life. I can really see why you're having so much trouble dealing with Bane's on creep. Because I can see your mind is constantly going in overdrive, just strategizing and thinking about other things. So for that, you get an absolutely fantastic. You're a blast to hang out with. Boom. Altogether, sadly, my friend, that still makes a big, fat, you suck. That's my judgment. You have to do with that. All right. That's going to be it for today's episode of Is It Imba or Do I Suck? If you thought this was a very good episode, be sure to hit the like button. Smash the subscribe as well. And we'll see you all next time for a new video. Thank you so much for watching. And bye-bye. Uh, oh, also, before I forget... Put the timestamp to your favorite moment of this IOTIS in the comments. Um, you guys will know why later.